Hey everybody, Gary here. I don't have a full video for you this week, but uh, it's just going to be a brief update and a brief reflection. Updates first, uh, I'll be shooting my first wedding ever uh, this Sunday, the day that this video goes live, so that's exciting. I think it's a huge honor to be part of Lindsay and Dan's big day and to capture some really special moments, so I'm really looking forward to that. I've been very lucky to have my friend Jin Chan let me uh, borrow his Sony a7 III um, for the wedding, so so I'll be going there strapped with uh, two very capable bodies and um, yeah, it's going to help out a lot. It'll certainly cut down on the lens swapping that I'll have to do since I'll have two bodies and uh, multiple lenses. And speaking of lenses, I actually picked up uh, an 85mm f1.8 portrait lens, which is really going to come in handy um, on the wedding day. It just sort of popped up on the used market at the 11th hour, so I decided to pounce on it. I'll be making another video of my experience shooting the wedding and my impressions of uh, using these new pieces of kit in the near future. So I've been reflecting on my photography journey thus far, and it's something that I've written about in my blog uh, in the past, but it's something that's sort of crept into my mind uh, once again. In a nutshell, photography is a discipline where you never really stop learning. There's always room to grow and improve, and your gear can really only take you so far. That is to say that your competency and skill as a photographer is far more important than the, you know, the gear, the, the glass or the body or the smartphone that you have in your hand at any given time. I thought of this because of uh, the most recent photo that I posted on Instagram of a nest that had fallen in my yard. And it reminded me of a photo that I had taken three or four years ago with my old Nikon D5300 and a 35 millimeter f1.8 uh, lens, which is you know about the equivalent focal length, about the equivalent you know kind of feel, look and feel as uh, the 55 millimeter f1.8 that I use on my full frame camera. And I can see ways that my photography has changed just by comparing these two photos. The original shot was just an opportunistic photo. You know, the nest just happened to be in a place that I could easily get a photo and I had my camera on hand. So I just took a few shots, um, you know, brought it into Affinity Photo, did some global adjustments and um, call it a day. And I was very happy with that photo. I am very happy with that photo. With the shot from the other day, because the nest had fallen, I thought I would take the nest around to different locations around my, my yard and my backyard until I found a composition that I really liked. I tried some simple sort of like square on shots uh, and then used the Brenizer method to actually get uh, sort of a softer background once I had found that composition that I really like. And I narrowed the scope of my adjustments to basically just an HSL adjustment, just to get the color and, and the feel of the image uh, in a way that I felt was appropriate for, you know, the colors and, and kind of the presence and, and just the feel of this like lonely empty nest. And once I was done, I took that nest back to where I had found it on, on the yard so that, you know, some bird that might like to salvage its materials can still find it and hopefully make use of it. It's an image that I could have created three or four years ago with my old APS-C camera and lens if I had the experience. Every year, every season, every shoot is an opportunity to learn and grow if we're willing to do so. And the lovely thing about having learned something is that those lessons, that knowledge can never be taken away from you. It's a part of you for keeps. So you should put it to good use. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Take care of yourself. Later.